first off, mink are not like ferrets. Mink are not like dogs. They're not like any other domestic animal that people are accustomed to keeping. Fortunately, mink are not available at the pet store. Fortunately, fur farmers are not likely to sell the general public a mink for lots of different reasons. And so, fortunately, mink are not readily accessible to the general public. Why do I say that is a good thing? The reason it's a good thing is most people can't even handle their little chihuahua or pet ferret. The reality is, sorry, I'm going to be blunt here. The reality is most people are lazy and absolutely clueless when it comes to animals. And the minute things get hard, they just give up and get rid of the animal. So I'm going to be blunt with you guys today. I'm not looking to sell mink or help a whole bunch of people get pet mink. The reason is they're completely inappropriate pets for 99% of the population. However, there are certain individuals out there who are truly dedicated. Uh, they want to take the time to learn about an animal, take the time to work with an animal, and are willing to put up with the extreme annoying tendencies that wild animals have. Annoying tendencies like biting, destroying your home, killing your other pets, Things like that that most people just can't understand, can't comprehend, can't handle. They still drive me nuts. Even me, as many mink as I've had, they still drive me crazy. They're an extremely stubborn creature, and their natural wild instincts do randomly pop up here and there and catch you off guard. So, now, back to the question. How do I get a mink? Um, am I willing to help people get mink? Yes, I am. The reality is I'm more than happy to at help the right person acquire a mink. Now, what is the right person? Well, the first thing is, you know, I don't know you. If you just send me a random message say, how do I get a mink? Are they available at pet stores? I'm probably going to ignore it. Now, if you're someone who's more serious, you want to actually learn about the animal, you want to put the effort necessary before you get the animal, and then once you have the animal, actually take care of it and go through the stressful, annoying things that mink will put you through. I'm more than willing to help you get a mink. So what does it take for someone like you to encourage someone like me to help you get a mink? Well, first thing, I wrote a book. It just so happens to have 142 pages in this book. I didn't write 142 pages of crap just because I had free, hands, uh, free time on my hands. I put months and months and months of effort. I put a great sacrifice into writing this book. Why? So I could make money? Are you kidding me? Do you know how many people even care what a mink is, let alone want to read 142 pages about it? I wrote this book knowing full well it was a sacrifice that I would get nothing back in return for. So I didn't write this book for me. I didn't write this book to make a profit. I haven't made a profit and I probably never will. The reason I wrote this book is so that, number one, inappropriate people who think they want to mink but don't understand what that means can learn by reading a book, hey, maybe this isn't for me. Two, the bigger reason why I wrote this is the people who are appropriate. They do have the work ethic and the, and the desire, the appropriate um, understanding to actually get a mink. I want to show them a step-by-step -step how to raise a mink, how to care for a mink, how to feed a mink, how to house a mink, all of these important things that they just need to know before they get a mink. You need to read the book thoroughly before you get a mink. Many, many weeks, months, years before you get a mink. You need to be reading and, and then applying this information. Okay, I'm going to get the appropriate housing. I'm going to do the things I need to get ready for this mink. So if you're willing to do those types of things and prove to me that you're actually serious, you're not just, it's not just you're wanting a mink on a whim, I will help you. I'll be happy to help you. So how do you contact me about getting a mink? Now, I don't sell mink. In case you're wondering, I'm not. I don't have a big old, you know, couple dozen mink in my backyard that I'm breeding and then selling to people. I don't. Uh, like I said, it's not my goal to go out and get people mink. However, the right people, I'm more than willing to help. I have contacts. I have friends who do breed mink, and I'm more than happy to help people get in contact um, with the right people so that they can get mink. And, um, but, like I said, I'm not going to just hand out phone numbers because you send me a message and say, hey, can I get a mink? No. <laughs> I'll just tell you no. Sorry. You need to prove to me that you're serious about this. First, by reading my book. And then I'm going to 
I'm going to ask you a lot of questions. And the other thing I'm going to do is you send me a message. That will be great. I'll reply. I'll be, you know, friendly. But just because you send me a message and read my book doesn't mean I'm going to get you a meet. You need to stick with it. You need to contact me multiple times over a period of time. Um, I'm going to want to talk to you on the phone eventually. And somewhere down the road, I'll trust you enough that I'll get you a meet. Now, am I going to be a total jerk about this and, and make you go through all these unnecessary steps? No, not really. But I'm not just going to hand you a phone number and say, here, go buy a mink just because you send me a message. So I hope you guys don't think I'm being a jerk. I'm just serious about this. I don't want you as an individual to be just go spend money on something that you're not going to enjoy. And I also don't want the mink to go to a home where it's not going to be appropriately cared for and with someone that will just end up dumping it because they get tired of being bitten or tired of all the effort it takes to care for a mink. So here on YouTube, I get a hundred messages from a bunch of people who on the whim want a mink. I'm just not going to reply to those 99% of the time. So if you want to, to really look into getting a mink, you need to send me a message to the link below. That's my Facebook page on minkinry. Send me a message there and have a conversation with me. Don't just send me a message and say, hey, I want a mink great I'm probably gonna ignore you I get those every day but if you can converse with me on a regular basis for a period of time prove to me that you're serious about this that it isn't just some little fad in your life yeah I will help you I'm more willing to help people just like me make it clear the right people people who are serious and not just on a whim wanting a cool pet so anyway hope that answers your question oh second question I get on the same topic is do you need a license? Can I have mink in my state? Well, first off, I don't know every state's laws. And second off, if you're in a different country other than the United States, I probably don't know the laws at all in your country. And I probably won't be able to send you a mink anyway. So if you're from a different country, you know, feel free to contact me, but it won't be as easy for me to help you, obviously. But if you're in the U.S., um, most states don't require a permit to own a mink. Most states, if the mink, I should, let me take a step back. Most states don't require a permit to own a captive bred mink. Now, if you go get one from the wild, yes, they typically own a, they require a permit to own one. However, a captive bred mink, um, most of the time, they're considered domestic livestock and they don't require any type of permits or licensing to own. Um, so that's, that's the great thing. You don't have to go through that hassle. So I um, hope that was helpful. And um, hey, you know, if you are serious about this and you do want to get into minkinry or you do want to pet mink, like I said, read my book. Don't just read it. Carefully study my book. Keep in contact with me. And, um, yeah, you know, come springtime, if you want a baby, I'll be more than happy to help you out. If, if you want an adult, I can get you an, an adult any time of year. So, anyway, hope that was helpful.